I keep forgetting about that non-spell. Uh, it, it's not gonna work. I guess something that I could do... I mean, maybe I could try one more run, at least that goes out of stage 1, I mean. But if it doesn't work, I guess I could just try getting a, an extra no bomb or something. I don't know. Because I really don't feel any benefit on playing, you know, on playing this. Since I know what the end is gonna be, it doesn't seem like it presents any options. I don't know. Well, if I cannot even get the extra no bomb, that will be extremely sad. I wouldn't just be a little bit sad, it will be the whole package of sadness. Because this is probably one of the easiest extra stages there is. I'm not being able to get this one will hurt. Uh, especially when I was able to do a no bomb one miss on this extra stage. Uh, I almost perfected it. If it wasn't for the survival spell, I would have perfected it. But unfortunately, the survival spell is a little bit of a bitch. Well, that's usually how it is for extra stages. Their second to last spell, which is the survival spell, it's usually a very big pain in the ass. Sometimes it's not, but those are very few occasions where it's not. A package of sadness. <laughs> no, I think you can keep it. No, I guess I will try to play the extra stays. I should want to get one more run like the previous one, because hey, maybe I can actually get the one coin clear. I mean, after getting that far, I'm pretty sure I can do it. It's just that I also need another attempt to be as good as that and better, <laughs> you know. So it's a little bit painful, even if it's doable, but if I can get one more, it might be possible to do it in that one more. You never know, you should never count it out. My bomb there for nothing, because I wanted to get the, the fairy that drops the power item and I didn't even get it. <laughs> I think that there are people that score this kind of games, somehow. Also, this is resource-wise the best type of situation that I could be in. Five points of power and two lives. Well, I mean, yeah. technically I, at this point I could get more lives, but for what I can do this is not bad at all. I almost got hit by the by the rice bullet. Bullet. Oof. That was a capture. 
Oh, and also that bomb didn't count for this. So if I was actually good, I could actually capture this one. Even, the, the, like, despite that bomb. But no, it's too risky. At least I got the extend... Well, early for me, that is. But yeah. That's quite early for me. To get the, the, the first extend. Forgetting that the best way to do this is to just go from left to right or from right to left and then like kill three of those instead of just two. If you just kill two you're most likely gonna get killed. You're gonna get killed as a way of thanking you for leaving one of the fairies alive. That's their way of thinking. What I do remember is that back when I used to have well, better runs, uh, one thing that was very common is, uh, well, it wasn't very common really, but when it happened it was pretty nice, which is basically not dying up until stage 4. Like stage 4 will have had my my first death in the game. Would be nice, but I don't think I can pull that off now. <laughs> well, especially not like this. I guess I wasn't that far at least from doing it. Gotta look at the bright side. This is another spell card that I never understood and I think that I should probably never try to understand. Another one of those spell cards that it's very easy in lower difficulties but in Lunatic it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like I understand what the gimmick is but I just don't see how I will be able to dodge it seems mind-blowingly hard. I guess that's good enough. Dying once and getting one point of power will be better, but you know. I also like how this stage is just literally called the Yokai Mountain. I mean, I know that that's where we are, but. That's kind of like where the whole game takes place. I guess this is formally the mountain, instead of just the, the surroundings.
wish, wish mommy she wasn't that fucking hard. Because stalling mommy she is a good strategy to not deal with the bullshit afterwards. This bullshit I mean. But unfortunately, it's a little bit hard to stall her. But let alone... I mean, it's already hard to survive her. So yeah. Let alone trying to actually stall. But survive her without bombs, because yeah. Two bombs and she's done. And no shit. Wow. Well. I've gotten more points from that section, but I'll take it. Belkar is so nasty how orange she is. One of those things that you don't really think about. Well, I guess you will think about it, but... I didn't really think of those sorts of things when I was studying with the Toho games, right? But the orange she in that, in that previous Belkar is nasty. Well, I mean, this is Toho, right? So the orange she is everywhere. But in that uh, previous one, like it's basically the difference between capturing it or not. Well, I guess you could say that about most of them. If you get good RNG in a, in a spell, you can probably capture it, and if you don't, you don't, obviously. That was terrible. <laughs> Let's capture this one, why not? I mean, it's just moving left and right. You know, it, it, it can be that hard, right? Why would it be that hard? There always comes a time in this spell card where something catches you in the middle whether it's the arrow heads or the or the other bullets there is always something there that fucks you up without mercy yeah i gotta remember on that opening pattern on this stage that you basically need to need to move to the side where those guys are spawning that's what the general idea of that thing is so you can dodge and kill at the same time that's the, the whole point Force me to move out of the way. Could have gotten a bomb there and a lot of shit. Damn, and funnily enough, resource wise, I'm doing pretty much the same as last time. And that's because the, the fourth stage went horribly and the start of this fifth stage went even worse.
well. At least I think that I will get the last at stand, but not much more than that. Not even enough for a bond. How greedy of you, game. It's not like that non spell is even hard. I can never do it without bonding for some reason. Well, except for there, but that's because I couldn't bond. And this fucking knife, dude, I really don't understand how these knives work. Like, it seems that it, well, I guess it's complete RNG, that's the problem. <laughs> like, sometimes they are super close to each other, making it impossible to dodge in the middle, and some other times they are open enough that you can dodge in the middle. But I'm pretty sure the only deciding factor there is RNG, which is very fucked up, to say the least. I think that's how it is. Damn it. I guess this, well, this is pretty much the same run as the last run, isn't it? I, I think it's pretty much the same run, resource-wise, I mean. We will see if the result will change. Probably not, but you never know. It could be anything. Guys will keep shooting. I know. Yeah, this is the same run. <laughs> The exact same run had three points of power with one life remaining, and then in the middle of the fight I got the the 150 million at ten. The exact same run, and it's probably gonna end the exact same way. On the right side I like this fight, so whatever. At least I get to see the fight, hear the music, which is one of my favorite things about this game, really. Like, this whole last stage is my favorite thing about this game. So, honestly, even if it ends like the previous run, I will say that I already won. Oh, I fucked that up. Well, maybe, <laughs> maybe I didn't already won. Oopsies. It's okay. We don't need that bomb, anyways. That, that bomb, I, I didn't want it. That, that, that bomb is just part of the past.
Hey man, I even got the extend in the exact same fucking place, dude. It's almost surreal. I mean, it's surreal because both runs were not the same. Like, I died in different places and shit like that. But <laughs> On the last stage, both runs are shaping up to be the exact same shit. Well, on the bright side, I know that I don't need to bomb this because it's not like you get resources anyways out of this non-spell. I guess I can bomb if I'm about to die or some shit. Well, or... I think my issue with this non-spell is that it's very easy to get killed by the green bullets. Uh, if you don't see very well like for example if you get a cycle like that you won't get killed then you have these first two patterns that are extremely easy because it's just moving to the side very uh, slowly and that's it but for this one it's not that simple really depends on what position she is in how she does the patterns slightly different Damn, I actually got her, but yeah, that doesn't really matter I am just gonna bomb here to not waste the damage that you get from that. This is how you're supposed to dodge this spell card, by the way. Which is very hard, but the problem is that it's also very long doing it this way. I don't know if there is another way of doing this, but I'm pretty sure this is the strategy. And that's the end of that, pretty much. Yeah. It's a pretty challenging spell, as you can appreciate. Alright, damn, I almost got killed by the spawn amulet. Tank this with the amount of lives I have remaining. We'll most likely just tank it. I feel that I could, yes. Wait, no, I can't. I just realized. Damn. <laughs> well, that was pretty close. That was pretty close, but I got it. Right at the end, zero power. Just like that. The usual. Oh, yeah, the ending. Wait, you can watch the ending. Soon doesn't like you watching the ending. It's okay. <laughs> uh, thanks. How is it going, Risufo? Damn, UFO? Damn. You are named like the game I don't like. But it's okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> but yeah, damn. I was pretty close. You know, I thought that I had one more extra life. That's why I was so confident I could tank the whole thing, but I realized 
very late, by the way, that I couldn't, actually. Like, I realized when it was, when I got hit at the end, when I died the last time, I'm like, wait, this is my last life, I can't tank the whole thing. But we got pretty close. UFO clear or no balls? No thanks. How can we can see the ending? Uh, because soon doesn't like it. Uh, soon, well, on the official guidelines he says that he prefers the ending to not be streamed or showed in any form online. Uh, well, online or not offline, I guess, <laughs> you know. The point is that he doesn't want the ending to be distributed. Uh, it's not like you're gonna be in trouble for doing it. In fact, most people show the ending anyways. But since it's not that hard to just, you know, hide the, the source in OBS, I just do that. It's whatever. Like, I don't mind. If that's his only request, yeah, whatever you want soon. I actually got this. It's a hipster that follows the rules. Damn. We meet the sets part, but there is no sets part. Um, oh, and he says, An Antawa Erai? Wait, what does it mean, Erai? And it's written in Katakana too. I wonder what that term means. Oh, by the way, my last one going clear with this shot type, as I mentioned before, was eight years ago. So eight years later, I get another one with less score, by the way, than eight years ago. But there you have it. I guess it's better than nothing, isn't it? And also, yeah. All of my replays are backed up because I had so many replays I didn't have space to put more. There you have the Ray movie Lunatic 1 coin clear.